Hi Pisces, welcome to Body Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the second half of November, where I'll be taking a look at your current energies, your recent past, your immediate future, the hidden energies, and the potential outcome. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. What is Pisces' current energy? The Ten of Swords. Uh, okay, Pisces, you feel like you're over and done with something. Yeah, it's just that you're dealing with somebody or some energies and you feel like, you know, this is it. Uh, you're mentally like done with this. You're tired and it's over. Why is Pisces the Ten of Swords? What is this ending? The Five of Swords. So you don't want to fight anymore with somebody or like argue with somebody, play mind games, you know, you're done with the mind games. The Five of Swords, it's often um, a card of hollow victory. So, you know, obviously if you and somebody are involved, I mean, there is somebody who's feeling victorious, but whoever is feeling victorious is experiencing a half-assed victory. It's not really a real victory, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. But with the five with the five of swords clarifying the ten of swords, I feel like you're done with with this um, with these mind games and arguments. Okay, uh, what is uh, the recent past for Pisces? You have the two of pentacles, so things might have been in the air, perhaps about this situation, whether it is ending or not. Um, you could have been, you know, juggling the idea of something with something else. Let's let's clarify why is why is the recent past the two of pentacles for Pisces? Mm. What was Pisces considering in the recent past? So whether you want to extend yourself you know, emotionally um, apologize if that's what the situation uh, needed in the past or to, you know, I'm sorry about the banging in the wall, guys, it's there's construction on in the building. Um, yeah, you were in two minds about whether you should extend yourself emotionally towards somebody who's this person who, who who was Pisces considering extending themselves towards the king of pentacles so um, you could be dealing with an earth sign uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn or just somebody who you have been in a long term like somebody stable you know you or you might have been wondering if you want to offer uh, a stability but I asked like who you were so I feel like this is a masculine and in the past you were contemplating or you know just uh, weighing the pros and cons about extending yourself towards this person that you're dealing with uh, who is in a you know long-term stable situation with you because the king of pentacles is a committed person and usually so is the queen of pentacles they come in with commitment so it could be that you were considering extending yourself and your commitment to somebody but i feel like it's more about extending yourself emotionally to somebody who you've been in a commitment commitment with and uh, i don't know what happened so what happened I mean, we can see what happened now. I mean, it's the Ten of Swords. So, 
the Ten of Swords, clarifying the Five of Swords. Uh, what's in the immediate future for Pisces? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it's, it's getting better. So, you know, we have the match here. So, you and this person are in a committed situation, whether it's work or family, but it's it's a full blown committed situation and in the immediate future it seems like there's some healing coming into the connection now whoever embodies the queen of pentacles energy whether it's you or your partner uh, or you or this person you're involved in with uh, but somebody's bringing in healing energy uh, or intends to at least is embodying that energy so what about the queen of pentacles in the immediate future the four of swords so you know i feel like uh, there is healing but focused on oneself because the four of swords is uh, like a break like taking a break mentally especially from all this so many swords you know so you're definitely gonna be getting a break from this and uh, um, a Pisces you might feel like uh, you know towards the end of uh, November that uh, you're just uh, you need some rest some time alone uh, some good sleep some meditation or just yeah just rest and as the Queen of Pentacles you know uh, Pisces you could be what you will be doing is um, Focusing on your body, your mind, and listening to the signals. Like if something's been giving you a headache, you know, we have psychosomatic stuff that come up from within our system, not external. So the Queen of Pentacles deals with that aspect where she she cures stuff, psychosomatic stuff, because she's able to understand, you know, her body and what's working for him or her. And I'm doing your reading, Pisces. So this is you. So you're going to be getting a break from this uh, in the immediate future. What's the hidden energy? What is the hidden energy for Pisces? The Knight of Cups. So uh, now there is still a will from within to keep moving forward. And in fact... There is a growth in the emotions from the recent past to, you know, what's hidden. So your feelings towards this person is, your feelings towards this person is growing. It's, it's, it's growing probably perhaps as you're working on your healing, you know, we see progress, but it's hidden. This is a hidden energy. So, or this could be the other person, um, coming towards you let's get one more why is why is this uh hidden why is this knight of cups hidden so this is somebody who is keeping this a distance physically mentally but emotionally the mind is keeping them away but but the heart is moving forward uh, this could be you or the person you're dealing with, but it's hidden. So you wouldn't know this if you were doing it like it's not intentional or you're not necessarily aware of it. Or if the other person is feeling this, you wouldn't be aware of it. Well, they wouldn't be aware of it themselves. What's the potential outcome? Now it's a potential. I mean, all of this is a potential. We are all, We all have our free will and we are subject to the free will of others and to those around us. But then tarot, you know, gives us the general tendencies of the energies, just as astrology tells us the general tendencies of the movements of the planets. So let's look at the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome for Pisces? We have some conflict with the Five of Wands. This could be you know, conflict within yourself or with this person that you're dealing with um, or just people around you. Uh, if it's conflict within yourself, okay, what is this conflict about? 
Pisces, I feel like, you know, with the Ten of Cups, this is a shared dynamic with somebody and maybe there is a conflict around that. But I feel like this is about you and, you know, you, if it's just about you and you being conflicted within yourself, it's about what brings you happiness, who brings you happiness. You know, who do you want to have your Ten of Cups with? You could be conflicted about that. Or who or what brings you your emotional fulfillment? Or, or just to put it simply, it could be somebody else. This person that you're, you know, who you're dealing with and there is, there is, there's, there's a, there are ups and downs. Sometimes there are, then sometimes there are conflicts. You know, there is, this is quite, this is quite a roller coaster actually. If, if you are actually experiencing this with somebody else, you know, if it's within yourself, it's different. But if, if it's with somebody else and if you're sharing this energy, then it's like sometimes you're fighting or disagreeing or arguing and then the next moment you all are fine and happy. It can be quite confusing. Uh, so Pisces, uh, this is uh, just the potential outcome uh, and everything is a potential. Uh, I hope this helped. Uh, if you're still watching, thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching, sharing, liking and subscribing. And I will catch you again soon later. The temperance at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that's just, just give it some time. Sorry to just budge in like this, but like just whatever this is, just, just give it some time. Be, be patient and, you know, things will work out. So uh, Pisces, see you soon. Bye.